Hi guys, in this video we are going to see how we can build a new material view navigation drawer inside Flutter application like this. this so this is the new material view navigation drawer introduced in uh, Android 12 and now we will see how we can build this inside the Flutter application. So let's see how we can build this. So first of all where you want to implement the drawer just come to that screen and then come inside this scaffold. After this provide the drawer property and provide the drawer widget. Now inside the child of drawer widget we will use single child is probably. After this provide the padding and uh, then provide the safe area widget. After this we will provide the column and then inside the column uh, the children of the column that is this. We will first provide the header of our drawer. So I have created the drawer header widget and then inside the drawer header, header widget I have returned row and then inside the children of the row I have provided the circle avatar this is the circle avatar and then I have provided the background images inside the circle avatar and I am loading the images of the messages I have from uh, URL that's why I have used network image and then I am providing text and this is the app name that I am providing uh, and now our drawer header widget is ready so I have called this drawer widget, header widget inside the column inside the children of our column widget and now he and here it is drawer widget which will be render this messages and the icon after this i have provided the uh, spacing between the our items and the drawer header so i have used con uh, used a sized box to provide the spacing between the two items and then i have created a drawer navigation item widget which will take us a data that is the icon and then the title of our navigation item and the uh, and the function that will fire when we tap on that icon uh, that uh, item and then the and then we, it takes a variable called selected or not and now inside the navigation item what i did is i created a variables uh, that i provided on the top and here it is icon data title boolean selected or function on tap okay and then i have and then i i have called all this data inside the constructor of the draw navigation item after this i have returned the list tile and first of all what i did is the change the shape of our list tile uh, so it it need to it it must be a rounded corner so i have changed the shape to make it a rounded corner and then i have provided the leading property and inside the leading property i have rendered the icon that we, that we are getting from here and after this i on the tap method i have called this on tap function and uh, then inside the title I have rendered the title uh, title using the text and the title is coming from here and after this I have used a selected tile color so when the tile when our item is selected we will show this color that is the color appearing here and when and it is the and here we will providing the uh, providing the value that whether the icon is whether the item is selected or not using this selected variable and after this I have provided the selected color so when the icon is selected you can see that our icon color and non selected icon color are different so i have used this selected color to change that so uh, so in this way i have created navigation drawer a uh, navig drawer navigation item now when we click on the items of our navigation drawer what i am doing is just switching to the different page using navigator.push and material page route i am just shifting the to the different screen let's see how it works so when i click on start it will just take me to the start widget and uh, screen and when i click on spam it will take me to the spam and blog screen so in this way i have created the mate new material navigation drawer so if you want to open your navigation drawer using different icon so what you have to do is to just create a global key of the scaffold state like this like this and then uh, and then use this key and pass this inside the your scaffold under the key variable after this on the tab of your drawer that is on the tab of your button on the on the tab of your custom button call this scaffold dot current state and then call open drawer function and then it will open the drawer for you like this 
So in this way you can create your new material you navigation drawer inside your Flutter application. So thanks for watching.